I didn't want to do something that like normal people do. I wanted to be something unique. So I'm one of 13 members, what I believe, 13 members of my family to, to attend VMI. And so, so this is just, this is a second home to me and I grew up going here, my grandfather went here. So I just had this, this uh, history of VMI as part of who I am, my childhood. So the night before matriculation, we stayed at Natural Bridge Hotel, and uh, I personally didn't sleep at all that night because I was nervous and not sure what to expect. And we were about to embark on a on a, a new challenge, a unique challenge that, uh, that none of my friends were pursuing, and so I felt uh, prideful about that, and uh, and I just committed. And as soon as matriculation happened, and we went and got our haircuts, um, you know, I knew I was totally committed because I couldn't go back to North Carolina looking like looking like that without achieving success in the long term. commissioned upon graduation as a military intelligence officer and originally I intended to do four years, uh, do my initial service and then transition to something else, but I found that, uh, that I had outstanding leadership and uh, the experience at VMI prepared me very well for, uh, for military service and um, so I just kept going. For me personally, I think the best way to give back to your country after this formational military education is to serve your country in some capacity. Because at the very least, you give back, not only to your brother rats by setting the example, but you give back to your nation. And I think that's the, the fundamental mission of VMI and how that, that has a national impact. People don't steal at VMI. People don't cheat at VMI. Um, those standards helped me as a young leader because I did the best I could to, to live by that and set, set the example for, for young soldiers and officers to follow. There's a difference between VMI graduates and, and everybody else. And I've never had to balance so many things that I had to balance like I had to do here. So every day I think about my time at VMI and I have my uh, diploma over my desk and I wear my ring. You know, I look to my heroes um, that were also graduated, George Marshall, uh, General P, uh, to name a few. Uh, those are my, my personal leaders and I always look up, look up to them and wanna be like them. As soon as I graduated and started getting a paycheck, I started donating uh, to the VMI Foundation. I recognize the older I get that the, the success that I've had and the transformational experience that I had at VMI was, was, uh, has, has directly related to, to my personal and professional success. And I felt that giving back a little, a little bit of money here and there to, to help the Institute was, a, was an easy thing to do and something I take pride in doing. The results speak for themselves, the, the graduates speak for themselves, the experience speaks for itself, and there's no other academy or university in the world that is as good as VMI, and I've seen it, uh, I've seen it firsthand, and I will continue to tell that story for the rest of my, for the rest of my life.